All right, let's see if the old girl makes it up. Right! <laughs> yeah, I just needed a run up. Well, if you're one of my subscribers and you've you've come back for this video, I hope it's because you've forgiven me for being cruel in the last one. G'day, welcome to my channel. My name's Stuart Chignall. And if you want to know what I was talking about, about being cruel, you'll have to check out the last video I did for that to make sense. If you haven't come back to see what I was talking about in this video. Um, so today I've already been digging some stuff. Um, now I'm going to move on to some crevices that I saw and they're just over this way. Well, the weather's turned. It was uh, 35C the other day, and I think the top today was forecast to be 17, but I don't think it got to it. Um, but anyway, we're gonna have a crack and see how much, um, see what we got for the other good day in Molden. So the first lot of gold is going to be from that sort of inside bed behind the rock one. We'll do that first and see what we get. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely chunkier gold. So that, that answers that question. That looks like a specimen. Unless it's just a little bit of clay on it. My first specimen. How about that? Over this way. Oh, sorry, before we go. Just in the last couple of videos, I've been talking about how much this landscape has been turned over. That wall over there, you can see through the trees, I think that's the, the natural extent of the ancient creek line which the old timers have dug out. And all this stuff that we're standing on, all these mounds, is the spoil that they've turned over. Look at this. This is where the erosion gully picks up again. Look at the depth of that hole. That is a massive boil hole. Now, a question for you guys who know what they're doing. I haven't had much luck working boil holes before. Um, okay, I've only done three or four of them, but I haven't found much gold in them at all. But I've, I've watched a movie by Dan Hurd, who called them glory holes because they can hold so much gold. Now, let's get down there. How am I gonna do that? Without falling over. Oh, it helps to have long legs. Yeah, that's where I was standing <laughs> before. It's a good two and a half meters deep. Um, and this is it's a fabulous cross section of the gravel. Now, presumably, all this had been dug over by the old timers. That's probably a good one and a half, two meters deep of gravel there. Now, this bedrock looks um, a lot harder than the other stuff we found. It goes all the way over here until we get to another boil hole. Down there, you might stay away from there for now. So, what I reckon is, especially looking from this side, that looks disturbed. Even though it's got like leaf litter and stuff on it, it looks disturbed. Whereas this doesn't. So, I reckon we're going to dig out just there. So I'll go get some stuff and um, better get a, a crack move on because I'm running out of time. Just um, moving this stuff around so that if there's any gold in it, it'll be on the bottom. And I can get that and just toss it off. Just saves a little bit of um, digging and classifying. Now that is a fair bit of ironstone. Oh, mica. And millipede. <laughs> All right, dig, dig, dig. Oh, well, that's bedroom. <laughs> okay, this might be quick because um, it's not very deep. See, that's all. 
See, that's where the gold would be. Anything that was here would get carried on through, so. Oh. <laughs> that's a worry when you, you wipe the sweat off your forehead and you come comes away covered in mud. Um Well that didn't take long. That was um that was done pretty quick. Question is, what now? I've probably got more half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and then I've got to get moving. So what next? Well, I could go down there. Um but the boil hole's too big a job for the little time I've got. Yeah, I don't think that's a good target. I don't think it's hard like there's not much sign of other people here, but there's a little bit. So I think I need to go and check out some more unlikely places. Got this deep gravel bed that we were talking about before, but see the bedrock there underneath that bush? That's the bedrock we were looking at before from the other side. See? Just there. So that that shelf of bedrock's on a slight inside bend. Just there. Which means that that's probably a good reason why these bigger rocks are sitting on top of it. Is that they've come around that corner and they've been deposited on top of this. So I reckon in the little time we've got left, I reckon digging on top of that bedrock is probably a good spot. And if there's any little cracks, like here, they would be good places to check and follow. So probably what I want to do... ...is follow this crack. Maybe that one as well. Back towards the bank. So that sounds like a plan. Oh yeah, big rock. Now, it is illegal to dig up shrubs. So is that a shrub or a herb? I'm going to say it's a herb. And the Morton, pretty sure it's exotic, not native. But what's interesting with this backdrop is it's sloping back that way. Which is interesting because this is on an inside bend, sort of. But if it's sloping back that way, gold that sort of gets deposited here, she's going to move, migrate that way. Now that's a bit annoying because the bank gets deeper and deeper that way. Because it's falling off the sides of the erosion gully here. But it could be a really nice concentration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up uh, a bucket off the top here, just dig and classify and dig and classify and dig and classify, shoveling up what I can off this bedrock. Once I've done that and once I've filled a bucket, I'm going to take it back to the car and then I'll come back with another bucket and then I'm going to sweep the bottom and see what we get. And when we do the, um, uh, the processing, we'll see if we get a decent concentration off the bottom versus through the whole lot and that way we'll know whether it's worth processing the whole lot or whether we just want to throw off the top and clean up the bottom or whether there's nothing in it at all i hope there's something in it because <laughs> this is easy digging but <laughs> because it's easy digging i can work fast which means it's hard work but anyway that's the fun good exercise my love. I've placed my um, 
my hole in exactly the wrong spot because it's followed this buttress down and I've got a, a dip here and a dip there. Uh, now that'd be really good if there's another ridge over there. Um, but oh well, I should have I should have been over this side, but you don't know that until you dig. It's gonna have to be it. Time to get out of here. I'll uh, get this classified and be done. a cool thing when you can see gold on the mat. Now I think it's hard for you guys to see but that little speck there but look up here. Look at that. shape though so maybe it's a melgum but here we go here it comes here's the good stuff yeah I'll take that fine that was just off the bench Crikey, that was so easy digging. Look at all that fine stuff amongst all that chunky. Yeah, I'll take that. That chunky gold that I got from what is essentially the overburden of the stuff that was on the bench was awesome. And I guess you'd like to see what was on the actual floor of the bench. Well, it was so pathetic, I haven't even got a photo to show you. It was just, well, well it wasn't pathetic. It was a bunch of really fine gold. There wasn't anything that it was even close to a picker. And that's disappointing on the one level because we always want more, but it's actually really exciting because that could mean that all that bench material that was just sitting on top of that slab of rock could all yield pickers. And it was really, really easy to dig. But it could also be that because my sort of test trench on that bench was on a buttress of rock, that the really good gold was off to one side. So I'm gonna to have to go back to that spot before anyone else does and finish that, just clean that whole bench off I reckon because um, that was an awesome result for what was relatively little work. Um, there's a lot more gold for a lot less work than I got out of the first hole. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did and if you wanna see the next video where I get back there or whatever else I'm publishing next, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that it comes out. Uh, I've got a new box of stuff coming from Japan and a whole pallet of leather coming. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's coming tomorrow, so it's gonna be exciting. But anyway, have fun, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you around, bye-bye.